Okay, we're going to go over uh, one of each type today, and I'm going to show, um, well, I'll just get started. Find the value of the trig function. So when it says that, it's asking you to find the ratio of the two sides. This one says sine. So sine is the opposite over hypotenuse. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to write them all out. Okay, so those are the trig functions. And so then, again, from the viewpoint of this angle. So opposite side, hypotenuse, across from the right angle, adjacent. So for sine, we need to know the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So because there's a missing side, we're going to label these the Pythagorean theorem letter. So the opposite side, let's always call B. Adjacent side, because it starts with an A. This is the A side. And hypotenuse, we'll call the C side. And Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, we know the C and we know the B. We need to find the A. So we're going to subtract B squared. It looks ridiculous to write it that way. So when we put in these numbers, a squared is equal to c squared. So 17 squared subtract. Oops, sorry. We need to find a squared. I apologize for that. We need to find b squared. So this is a squared that we're subtracting. Um, a is 8 squared. All right. 17 squared is 289. 8 squared is 64. So you get 225. And when you take the square root, A is 15. Okay. But, doggone it. I keep, I'm being consistent. I'm so used to writing A squared. I apologize for this, students. You're probably yelling at the screen because I'm not paying attention over here to what I've written. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, B, and now we can write it. The opposite side is 15. The adjacent, or uh, the hypotenuse side is 17. And I'm going to leave that blank right there. Opposite over hypotenuse. And now that we know all three sides, I could, we could, so as soon as you know all three sides, you can, you could fill out all six trig functions. Sine would be adjacent, 8 over 17. Tangent would be opposite over adjacent, 15 over 18. And then for the reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and tangent, I mean, cotangent, you just flip that. Okay, we're going to come over here from the viewpoint of this angle. This is opposite. This is hypotenuse. Well, we're lucky. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent side is 3, the opposite side is 5. So on this one, you're done. Okay, let's come down here. So let's look at cotangent right here for root 8. Okay, from the viewpoint of this angle, this is the opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. So this is, so when I say viewpoint, if you're 
looking right here is your eye. That's what I mean by that's the opposite side. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So the side that's left is the adjacent side. Well, for cotangent, it's the reciprocal of tangent, TOA. O is opposite, A is adjacent. So cotangent is the reciprocal of that, adjacent over opposite. So once again, we don't know opposite. So I will call this B and actually pay attention, try to pay attention to this. So now we have C squared, subtract A squared, will equal B squared. So 8 root 2 squared, subtract 8 squared. And here's a tip. Uh, you probably learned this in geometry. If this is 8 root 2 and this side is 8, so focus on whatever's outside the root 2. If those are the same, automatically this side is also going to be 8. But let us let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So 8 squared is 64, and then root 2 squared is 2. Well, six, 64 times 2 is 128. 128 subtract 64 will be 64. And then the square root of 64 is 8. But in the future, whenever the hypotenuse is a number root 2, and if one of the other sides that they give you is the same number as the outside of the root 2, the third side will be that same number. These are 45 degree angles. All right, so now we know the opposite side and the adjacent side opposite and adjacent. So adjacent side is 8. Opposite side is 8. And that can simplify to 1. So cotangent is 1. All right, that's it for this video.